Hello guys, welcome to Coding Byte. Ubuntu is arguably one of the most popular and widely used Linux distributions owing to its classic UI, stability, user-friendliness, and rich repository that contains over 50,000 software packages. Furthermore, it comes highly recommended for beginners who are trying to give a shot at Linux. In addition, Ubuntu is supported by a vast community of dedicated open-source developers who actively maintain and contribute to its development to deliver up-to-date software packages, updates, and bug fixes. There are numerous flavors based on Ubuntu, and a common misconception is that they are all the same. While they may be based on Ubuntu, each flavor ships with its own unique style and variations to make it stand out from the rest. In this video, we are going to explore some of the most popular Ubuntu-based Linux distributions. Used by millions around the globe, Linux Mint is a massively popular Linux flavor based on Ubuntu. It provides a sleek UI with out-of-the-box applications for everyday use such as LibreOffice Suite, Firefox, Pigeon, Thunderbird, and multimedia apps such as VLC and Audacious Media Players. Owing to its simplicity and ease of use, Linux Mint is considered ideal for beginners who are making a transition from Windows to Linux and those who prefer to steer clear from the default GNOME desktop but still enjoy the stability and the same code base that Ubuntu provides. The most recent releases of Linux Mint are Linux Mint 20 and Linux Mint 21.1, which are based on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS and Ubuntu 22.04 LTS respectively. If there was ever a Linux flavor that was built with stunning appeal in mind without compromising crucial aspects such as stability and security, then it has to be an elementary OS, which is based on Ubuntu. Elementary OS is an open-source flavor that ships with an iCandy Pantheon desktop environment inspired by Apple's Mac OS. It provides a dog that is reminiscent of Mac OS, beautifully styled icons, and numerous fonts. From its official site, Elementary OS emphasizes on keeping users' data as private as possible by not collecting sensitive data. It also takes pride in being a fast and reliable operating system ideal for those transitioning from Mac OS and Windows environments. Just like Ubuntu, Elementary OS comes with its own software store known as App Center from where you can download and install your favorite applications, both free and paid, with a simple mouse click. Of course, it ships with default apps such as Epiphany, Photo Viewer, and Video, Media Playing applications but the variety is quite limited compared to Linux Mint. Written in C, C++, and Python, Zoran is a fast and stable Linux distribution that ships with a sleek UI that closely mimics Windows 7. Zorin is hyped as an ideal alternative to Windows and, upon trying it out, I couldn't agree more. The bottom panel resembles the traditional taskbar found in Windows with the iconic start menu and pinned application shortcuts. Like elementary OS, it underscores the fact that it respects users' privacy by not collecting private and sensitive data. One cannot be certain about this claim and you can only take their word for it. Another key highlight is its ability to run impressively well on old PCs, with as little as 1GHz Intel dual-core processor, 1GB of RAM and 10G of hard disk space. Additionally, you get to enjoy powerful applications such as LibreOffice, Calendar App and Slack, and games that work out of the box. Developed and maintained by System76, Pop OS is yet another open-source distribution based on Canonical's Ubuntu. Pop breathes some fresh air into the user experience with an emphasis on streamlined workflows thanks to its raft of keyboard shortcuts and automatic window tiling. Pop also brings on board a software center pop shop that is replete with applications from diverse categories such as science and engineering, development, communication, and gaming apps to mention a few. A remarkable improvement that Pop has made is the bundling of NVIDIA drivers into the ISO image. In fact, during the download, you get to select between the standard Intel, AMD ISO image and one that ships with NVIDIA drivers for systems equipped with NVIDIA GPU. The ability to handle hybrid graphics makes POP ideal for gaming. The latest version of POP is POP 22.04 LTS based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Voyager is a Linux distribution built upon Zubuntu, and its latest 23.04 Explorer edition offers both GNOME and XFC desktop environments for users to choose from. Right from the start, the distribution emphasizes user choice. If you prefer a more ergonomic environment, you can opt for a GNOME session. Alternatively, if you prefer a simpler and faster experience, you can go with XFC. One of the highlights of Voyager is its customized appearance, which evokes a sense of old-school elegance, providing users with a unique and classy Linux experience. 
I highly recommend Voyager to anyone who enjoys switching between desktop environments, seeks a tailored and personalized experience, and values the stability and reliability that Ubuntu offers. Voyager's versatility, customization options, and solid Ubuntu foundation make it an appealing choice for a wide range of users. If you are in need of a lightweight Linux distribution that offers a seamless out-of-the-box experience, Linux Lite is tailor-made for users like you. As one of the top choices for a simple and Windows-like Linux experience, Linux Lite stands out. A key aspect of Linux Lite's appeal lies in its stability, which is a result of its wise choice in utilizing the XFC desktop environment. This lightweight and reliable desktop environment enhances the overall performance and ensures a smooth and consistent user experience. As I mentioned earlier, Zorin OS provides pre-configured layouts to cater to individual preferences, but it is based on the GNOME desktop environment. However, if you happen to be a fan of KDE, then Ferran OS is the perfect choice for you. Ferran OS not only offers a pre-configured KDE experience but also boasts an impressive memory footprint, making it a compelling addition to this list. If you're looking for an Ubuntu-based distribution with the power of the KDE Plasma desktop, I highly recommend Ferran OS as a great starting point. LXLE is based on Lubuntu, so you get an idea of how light the memory footprint will be. It is one of the best lightweight Linux distro out there. So if I want to summarize the whole distro in one word, that would be efficient. But that's not it. You get plenty of customization options and collection wallpapers pre-installed to match the look. When I used it in VM, I was surprised to have a system light as a feather, 360 megabits of idle RAM usage. It may not be a comfortable experience for a new Linux user, but if you do not mind a classic user interface and the latest of everything, this can be worth trying. Kubuntu is a lightweight Ubuntu variant that ships with a KDE Plasma desktop instead of the traditional GNOME environment. The lightweight KDE Plasma is extremely lean and doesn't gobble up the CPU. In so doing, it frees up system resources to be used by other processes. The end result is a faster and more reliable system that enables you to do so much more. Like Ubuntu, it's quite easy to install and use. The KDE Plasma provides a sleek and elegant look and feels with numerous wallpapers and polished icons. Aside from the desktop environment, it resembles Ubuntu in almost every other way like shipping with a set of apps for everyday use like office, graphics, email, music, and photography applications. As you might have guessed, Ubuntu Budgie is a fusion of the traditional Ubuntu distribution with the innovative and sleek Budgie desktop. The latest release, Ubuntu Budgie 23.04 is a flavor of Ubuntu 23.04. It aims at combining the simplicity and elegance of Budgie with the stability and reliability of the traditional Ubuntu desktop. Ubuntu remains the dominant choice to provide an easy-to-use experience to newbies and advanced users. Sometimes we just want to get things done without needing to customize or control any aspect of our distribution. In such cases, Ubuntu-based distros save you time and give you plenty of options per your preferences. If you have to use one of the mentioned distro, which one would it be? Share in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more Linux related content. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.